Welcome back to the channel. The amount of times I get asked, how do I draw an angle? I haven't got a protractor. Well, I'm gonna go into that today, and all we need is a compass, a pencil, a piece of paper, and a straight edge. So within joinery, we've always got to draw angles. Whether it's a, a nine degree on a sill, or we've got um, a 20 degree projection on a slate, slate sill, we could have a 45 degree bay window. We may have an under stairs cupboard set at 30 degrees. We need to better draw angles. And we haven't always got a protractor. So I'm gonna go through today with a pencil, a compass, a straight edge, and a piece of paper how you would go about drawing your angles without a protractor. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first thing we're gonna do is draw a vertical line and a horizontal line on the page. And we need to make sure they're exactly 90 degrees. So we could bisect that angle with a compass as I've shown you in previous videos. We're then gonna set a compass to whatever distance you fancy. I've used 100 mil on mine, and we're gonna go from point A, where the vertical line meets the horizontal line, and arc a line just past uh, a quarter of a circle. We're then gonna put the compass point on B, and arc a line up till it meets that first radius, and that's gonna be our 60 degree point. Keeping the compass at the same radius, we're gonna put the point on C and arc another line. And that's now put our 30 degree angle point. So wherever you split a radius line, if you keep the compass to the same point, that will always give you a three equal splits across that radius. So we've now got our 30 degree and our 60 degree points. We're then gonna equally split the arc line B to C, up in equal segments, nine equal segments, um, and they should, the, the, the third and the sixth point should intersect the 60 and the 30 degree lines perfectly. So just make sure they do. Draw lines from each one of those segments down to point A, and that's going to be the 10 degree increments. So as you can see from the drawing, we have our, our nine points. By splitting these segments even further, you can see we can obtain other angles such as 25 degrees. You could then split between the 20 and the 25 degrees to obtain 22 and a half degrees, which is an angle that's very commonly used within joinery. I know we've said that we haven't got a protractor, but while you're practicing, this would be the point where you could lie a protractor on your drawing and actually find out how accurate you were. And when you've actually got this drawn up, which, which won't take any more than five minutes, you can use your sliding bevel and you can start setting angles on your sliding bevel, which would help you set your machines or draw rods or alike. As you can see, it's quite easy to draw any angle without a protractor. If you found this video useful, please consider liking and subscribing, and that way you won't miss any of my future videos. If you fancy leaving a comment down below, see if you've used this technique before, it'd be handy to see how many people have actually use this on a regular basis. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching.